Hello, welcome to Chasing Diecast Cars. This is the only Hot Wheels licensed vehicle that I found on the shelf in a action store on Monday, December 6. It's uh, from the 2021 Exotics, 1 euro and 79 cents is what I paid for it. It's the Austin Martin V12 Speedster. And the only reason it was left behind is it's got some issues. It's here in the center. It's got some uh, rough corners there on this little metal piece in the middle and that kind of proves you that most Hot Wheels are bought by collectors and uh, yeah they definitely didn't want the one that has issues like that but you know I just grab what's left over it's just a Hot Wheels car I mean you can't expect perfection right pretty cool vehicle kind of reminds me of that uh, Honda that uh, Hot Wheels does. It has two uh, driver positions. So I think there's a steering wheel on both sides in that one. Uh, yeah, interesting the vehicle. Too bad didn't get tail lights. Did get the V12 license plate. And then on Sunday. December 12th I went to a collector's fair in Antwerp and this is the stuff I got there now at the beginning I met up with Diecast Dude and he gifted me this one the uh, Chevrolet Corvette Gold Edition 2020 so this is a gold chase in the premium cars assortment I already did the video on the premium cars assortment uh, by catalog so uh, I will opening will be opening up this one now. That's a little collector card in there. Very shiny. And then we got the stats on the vehicles. So this color is not available for the mass production car. That's interesting that they put that on there. <laughs> That's pretty funny. And then we got this nice and shiny. See, you can see even see uh, my reflection in there, my camera. That's how shiny it is. GM trademark Chevrolet Corvette. Production date October 19, 2020. Of course it's got suspension, it's got opening doors, lens headlights, Corvette logo, black stripe just on the hood, tail lights and Corvette logo in the back, black plastic spoiler, so yeah very cool, thank you so much dude. For gifting me this I'll put a link to the video where he found this in store uh, at the end of this video in the comment section and in the um, description of the video so you can find it at different places cool then from uh, sellers at the event I found this one road jams so this was interesting to me because of this tool here so these are shock racers and uh, you can kind of adjust the suspension on these performance tool to make your car cool so if you turn it one way the uh, you loosen up the shock system for maximum shocks and then the other way tighten for smooth track racing so I have one of these cars and uh, I didn't know what the, uh, the thing on the bottom was for. Here's the other vehicles in the set, so I have that Ford GT90. This uh, has a copyright date of 2000, paid 5 euro for it. And again, that was totally worth it for me to acquire the tool. Let's take it out of the package. The glue is still very good on this. 
surprisingly, being more than 20 years old. There we go. So we got a matte purple 1998 Ford Mustang. And here in the middle you can see the, the twisty thing, the bolt or whatever you want to call it. So now it has very loose suspension. It says Lightning Stang on the side by the way. It's got no interior because it's got some uh, system in there for suspension I guess. And then when we turn it the other way, let's see, like that. I don't know if you can keep on turning that. Uh, still got very loose suspension. Hmm, interesting. Maybe I'm not doing it right, I don't know. Kind of want it want to uh, fixate it. Hmm. <laughs> it's not really working. Loose, yeah, that's loose. Very loose. So I don't. I wonder how how far I have to turn it to kind of tighten that suspension. Okay, now we are at the end on the other side, and now there's no more suspension. Cool. So you have to turn it quite a, a long way to um, to fix it. So that's. Probably a lot of settings in between, I guess. So a little turn. I already got some suspension, but not that much. So you can actually customize it pretty well on how much suspension you want. Interesting. So the other one I got in the past, found this at a uh, swap meet in a dump bin, is this Ford GT90 in yellow. So it had that thing there, so I didn't know what it was for. thought this came off, because this seems like an insert here, the plastic insert in the middle. Um, so you can see suspension, and then if we um, turn it all the way the other side, the, the bolt kind of loosens up very much, like you're going to completely undo it, but apparently that's how it works. And this should be, yeah, fixed position, no more suspension. GT90 racing it says on the side, so got two of the Fords now from the set. And I've got the very important tool to uh, adjust them. That's cool. That's why I got it for the cars itself. Well, they're not that interesting to me. Also got a few Norev. Uh, this... Uh, was asking price five, but uh, I paid three for it. And no date on the box here. So it's kind of in a Renault Toys packaging, so available at the uh, Renault dealerships. It's a kind of a, a minivan. Unfortunately, it's got some. Uh, corrosion on the base probably due to uh, being kept in a moist environment so this is a Renault Traffic it's got suspension it's metal on metal rubber tires authentic rims lens headlights painted taillights and the uh, lift gate goes up it's got a trailer hitch a lot of room in the back still there's only a uh, the front seats and then the second row of seats so it's not really a minivan well you could add a, an extra row in there of course and then it would be a proper minivan so I'm going to try to get this uh, off with some vinegar uh, this little corrosion style stuff Let's see what happens and then also got this six pack, all Citroën cars in there. So, probably also a dealer exclusive. This 
this one was 20 euro ended up paying 15 so two and a half per car so we got almost a whole assortment of Citroën at that time C2, C2 Racing, C3, C4, C5 and then the jumper van they had a few more vans, they had a few more variations of these models of course that's not all they had obviously so let's take a look at the cars out of the packaging I can get them out. Yep, here they are. Let's start with the uh, C2 civilian version. Sorry for the noise. You can see also some corrosion starting there, so bought it just in time, I guess. Metal on metal, these all are it seems, or maybe not all of them, we'll see. Suspension, authentic rims and plastic tires, lens headlights, very nice detailed in the front there, with the grills and the fog lights in the bottom. Got the roof rails done, the door handle, little indicator on the side, so full deco, tail lights and the, all the logos on the model, some black around the window in the back. Almost look like looks like it would open up, but it doesn't. So the exhaust is silver because it's part of the metal base, unpainted base. Got a dark grey interior. And the racing version. Same base. Got the racing style wheels. different front end as you can see it's much wider also a different bumper of course got a little bit bigger spoiler on the back any center exhaust it's actually not the same base because it doesn't have the exhaust tip A bit flatter than the uh, civilian one. It's got the roll cage inside and the racing seats. A spare wheel in the back. Cool. Then we got the C3 Pluriel, that's the uh, convertible version. Also got uh, some corrosion there. Got the same treats as the other ones. This one also has a roof that comes off. Nice interior. Nice green color. Then we got the C4, this is also heavily corroded. So it does have uh, some kind of a hint of an exhaust, but not the uh, exhaust tailpipe there. That's interesting. This one's got that funky rear window like some uh, Hondas also had back in the day then we get the C5 station wagon this is of course my favorite in the set that armrest folded down in the back with some cup holders in there nice tail lights too that go all the way up and 
Then we got this pickup. Nice blue color. So this has a plastic base. Citroën jumper suspension too. This plastic bed lifts up and then this uh, opens up to dump stuff out of there. Chassis is metal. The bumper is metal too, painted in a uh, matte gray. It uh, fits three people in there in the front. And we even got the taillights done. Nice. And then I found a bunch of Matchbox Convoys. Now all the more recent ones were from the same seller. Uh, you can also see those in the um, Diecast Dude video because you know he was there. He gave me that gold Corvette. So he did a video on this event too. So I'll put a link to that video also. So you'll have uh, two of his videos that you can uh, watch if you haven't seen those uh, after you've watched mine. Uh, this seller had just this one older style convoy. It seems like uh, some rodents have been uh, chewing on it. This has a 1983 copyright on it. I was asking 12 and uh, paid 10 for it. These kind of fold open, but still not worth keeping the packaging because it's still uh, such bad condition. And the box actually is kind of a purple. I thought it was black, but it seems to be purple. Just going to clean it up a little bit because the plastic on the box is broken too. On the window box, so dirt got in there. So this is my first example of the Scania T142. It's got a white cabin and then this purple base. The big brush guard in the front. Looks pretty cool. So we got one exhaust and one air intake here. Three axles. It's a right hand drive. Two big fuel tanks on either side. And here's the trailer, box trailer. Articulated trailer, it says here on the base. With the opening doors. So this has a white metal chassis and base and a plastic box. Yeah. That's pretty cool. And then from one and the same seller I bought this whole lot of Matchbox Convoys. I made him an offer he couldn't refuse. I had to add a little bit to my offer to, uh, to make him, um, to make the deal. But uh, you know, it's uh, almost, I got these for almost half price. Not sure if that I paid too much or, or not. I have no idea what these go for. But uh, you know, they kind of appeal to me and uh, I don't come across these very often and uh, there were some really nice ones in there so uh, I kind of yeah thought I gotta make a deal here and buy these all so we start with some 2005 releases you can see the different logo here so this is in a Jeep Wrangler livery with the uh, generic or Matchbox original tractor cab so 20 was the asking price and I ended up paying 10 euro and 49 cents. This is the back with uh, some other liveries you can find on these. 
Not sure how to open these, but let's see. Let's try it like this. Okay. Some plastic in there. Let's see how these unhook. Is that you have to hold it sideways or what? I'm not sure how this will come off. Hmm. That's interesting. Oh, there it is. Just like that. Yes, has to go. Has to go a little bit forward, it seems. Anyways. kind of a generic truck or rig wheels are okay but you know we're going to see some better ones later on and this one is actually called a Sada's rig look at that that's interesting so this must have been designed by Rio Asada. Hmm. Would you know? That's a surprise. So it's got a metal base, black metal base, and this metal pin here, and then a black plastic box on top of it, and it seems to open also. I didn't expect that. Going to be a bit. Tough. Oh, look at that! It goes up like that. Didn't expect that at all. That's cool. Because it looks like uh, it's got you know a door that opens to the left and one that opens to the right, but you know, it goes up. Interesting. Got the same deco on both sides. So, okay, put these the back then staying in 2005 you can see the same logo as the Ford Aeromax with the uh, DHL livery Asada trailer let's open this one another way it like this or maybe not no that's not going to work there's some cutting line here too by the way I don't know if I can just cut that with my nails now kind of have to cut that with a knife and then you could probably can open it up like that take the car or the vehicle out the articulated tractor trailer out and then put it back in if you want but uh, you know, I'm not going to keep these packages okay that one was much easier definitely livery this is a DHL one a lot of DHL collectors so forward and then lifting it up yeah that's how it needs to be done so also my first first example of this Ford Aeromax we don't get this style of uh, rigs here in Europe we have the cab over engine COE ones And then we got Sada's rig again. It actually doesn't say trailer, but rig. It's kind of strange. Anyways, so same lift up thingy. It's easier to look in there because it's a lighter color. Like that. Then we get to 2006. The tractor cab combined with the Goodyear livery. And then on the back here we get the um, uh, other examples. Yeah, by the way, the prices. I don't think I've shown you the previous ones. Well, some of them. Oh, yeah, it was on the front, so you could see it. Uh, 15 euros, so 787 is what I ended up paying. Get 
davon. That came off easy. So, tractor cabin yellow and the Goodyear livery on Asada's rig. Still staying in the 2006, well, the rest of this row is 2006, 20, 10, 49, Yamaha Outdoors livery. black cab but this time we got uh, for 2006 we got the newer rims which I like better than the, the old style ones Look much more like appropriate wheels for these kind of vehicles and we got the Yamaha outdoors livery Here we got the tractor cab combined with the Mario Kart livery. Now we got a red version of the tractor cab. Mario Kart Double Dash. Don't know much about Mario Kart. I think there's one called Luigi. One of the characters. That's about it, I know. Ford Aero Max with the Shell Tanker 201049. This is a different style trailer, tanker trailer it just says, so metal base chassis and then uh, a plastic tanker part on top, the shell sticker on there and the Ford Aramax in silver. It's got a uh, dark grey metal chassis and here's uh, one of my favorites the uh, Ford Aeromax combined with the McDonald's livery 1049 also The last time I've eaten at McDonald's was in 2014. I haven't been in a uh, fast food restaurant ever since. Now we got a red version of the Ford Aeromax. And then Asada's rig in red with Ronald McDonald. 2005 McDonald's Corporation and Affiliates. Lots of burgers in there. Looks very cool. Together with the DHL, these are my favorites. 2007, you get the convoy here. Same price as uh, most of these. Tractor cab combined combined with Philips 66. That's a, um, a brand we don't know here. I 
don't know if it still exists in the United States. Philips 66. It says flammable on there. 1203. Let's get two, two of these upside down cones here. And the red plastic part. Uh, makes for the mud flaps in the back. So you got that plastic. Oh yeah, by the way, the shell one has the had those cones there too, but because it's gray, didn't stand out that much, so I didn't notice it. See what some color can do. Same gray tanker piece, and then the same black uh, tractor cab that we got in the uh, Yamaha Outdoors version. And then the last convoy one is the Ford Aeromax to combined with the Land Rover G4 Challenge livery. Also 2007. So now we got a metallic white Ford Aeromax with the gray base. With a kind of an off white Sada's rig trailer. Looks like a Range Rover. Sport, I guess. On there. Thought it was a Discovery, really, but it's a Range Rover. Anyways, and then in that same, on that same table, I should say, there were four of these hitch and holes. Now, I've only seen these uh, online on uh, on YouTube. Uh, these are very hard to come by here. Uh, you've got the newer ones, yeah, that's right. Uh, these are sold here in uh, a few places here and there. Uh, I think they cost about eight euro, but uh, the plastic accessories you get with those are far less nice than these. Uh, the accessories on these are really nice, and I, I'm not, not even an accessory collector, but uh, this looks really good. Um, so this is the Grizzly Lake one from uh, 2005. It's got all kinds of languages on here. Things are about to get wild. I'm also always interested in reading the uh, the other languages uh, and um, definitely the Dutch one. Um, sometimes the these are not literally translated into another language, and this is a good example of that. It's getting bare dangerous here. It says instead of things are about to get wild. Uh, in Dutch, when you add bear to a word, it becomes extra, like extra dangerous in this case. Uh, so that's actually a pretty good um, Dutch sentence. So it's definitely someone who uh, who speaks Dutch and not a translator who, um, who did this. That's a pretty good job. Now this was the most expensive one of all, 40 euro. So... I end up paying 20 euro and 98 cents for it. Not sure if that's uh, worth it. Um, I looked up these hitch and hauls online. I only found one on uh, eBay. I was selling for 32 US dollars without shipping. Uh, not this one, this was another one. Uh, so yeah, uh, no idea if that's worth it or not. Since these are so hard to come by, I. Uh, I didn't hesitate to uh, to grab them. Uh, let's see if I can open this from the bottom. Yeah, that's going to work. Good old matchbox way. Okay. So we get the Jeep Cherokee. It seems to have some suspension or not, I don't know. No, not really. Just the axles moving. A 
metal flake white with a teal light bar and blue windows separate piece for the uh, light bar unit 7 168 Cherokee on the side and then Whoa, okay something uh, fell down here no worries um, some crazy bird here don't know what that is the base clips into the body and the interior is white I think and we got the pop-up camper so I'll see in that same metal flake white motor hotel unit 7 and this piece pops up to make it into a uh, camper trailer so you can see someone sleeping in the bed there and there's a kind of a kitchen area on the other side and then on this side a little cupboard there you got an entrance door here and then there's a uh, this little part here that might be able to lift up kind of a curtain or something let's hook them together like that and then there's the uh, there's a tree that comes with it is uh, an adventurer it's got nice colors on it Looks a bit fat though. <laughs> Here we got that uh, crazy grizzly. And a little fireplace. Looks great. Next up, we got Monster Movie. Your first scene just got scary. And it, in Dutch, it says scary from the first scene. So. Looks a bit like it. 25 reduced to 13, 12. Oh, well, that's what I ended up paying for it after making the deal. So we got the truck camper, no suspension, kind of an olive green action cinema. Got trailer hitch, metal body, plastic base, and a white opening door. Just like that, you can kind of look inside. Let's see if we can see something through the window. Yeah, that's a cool casting. And we can close it up again. And here, oh, this one's. Oh, shoot. And I didn't bring my. Um, Cutters. So this is the mobile mobile light truck. Uh, this is a set from 2006, I believe. Just have to check my notes. Yeah, 2006. This one and the next one. So this this kind of this light kind of moves up and down. So there's kind of a cabin here where a person can sit and then drive the thing around and light up the scene. We got some kind of a monster here. We got some uh, Tarzan like figure. And he is a camera guy. All very well done. Then we got the Toots treasure you woke the mummy and in Dutch it says you have woken up the mummy pretty similar again 25 to 13 12 we got the Jeep Wrangler let's see 1998 it's hard to see on this brown base 
a light brown wheels, no suspension. Cairo, Cairo 369 Jeep Wrangler on the side, and then the, the kind of an eagle or something like that. Black interior. Darker brown roll cage with spare wheels, so got all kinds of different colors here. Base, wheels, body, roll cage, and interior, all different colors. That's nice. And here's the excavator trailer, I think. Yeah, excavator trailer. So usually it's it comes with an excavator on there but there's a few of these that have something totally different on there and this is just a bunch of gold and treasure treasure from uh, Tutankhamun uh, resting place nice looks really good it's got uh, nice color rims too So there we go. Put that one there. Here we got the mummy. Looks pretty funny. Here's the adventurer. Also very well done. And a palm tree. Sweet. And then the last one from 2007 is Dragon Castle. 25 to 13 12 this could get hot a fiery adventure so something totally different it says in Dutch some other sets here are shown so the excavator trailer with an actual ex excavator on there and the truck camper and here a wrecker with a taxi kind of bent the stop sign there Here we got the Land Rover 90, metal on metal, with suspension, red plastic roof with the uh, thingy on there, I don't know what you call that. Here we got a uh, knife, Excalibur maybe. Grey rims, black body. Right hand drive. And here we got the excavator trailer again with a device to launch a silver ball into the air. Well, that didn't go far. <laughs> okay, it's kind of limited. Okay, that worked. Got these disc wheels, and that's interesting. I don't think I have ever seen these on a Matchbox. Or not much. Well, in Chrome, probably yes, but not with this gray on it. I mean, cool. I like this trailer. This brown part is metal, yeah, and then the rest is plastic. Yeah, so this shiny brown part here and this middle part is metal. So it will, will be the same for this one. This light brown part being metal. And we, here we got the dragon. Mm -hmm. Looks very realistic. And here we got some, uh, well, dragon fighters. Have some uh, very strange weapons. They look really nice. Very well done by Matchbox back in the day. So I also got a bunch of loose cars that day but I won't be showing them in this video because that's just going to be too long a video. I will do that in the next video, probably a live video tomorrow maybe who knows if I feel up for it there's a preview of the loose cars I got 
well, except for this one, of course, that one was opened up. So, hope to see you then. Bye. Thanks for watching.